Okay, welcome back. Let's bust this place open. Bam! Oh, hey, who's that? Carol. Yo, baby! I'm here to help you. Carol? Diana. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Stupid. Alright, so... Okay, I forget. Why do we want to rescue Fate? Because he's supposed to be the new Lord of Moreau. But, um, someone else took that. Someone else ousted him from power. And now, all the guards are jerks. Oh, alright. So we need to make the guards not jerks. Correct. Okay. Up to speed. Some Something strange is afoot. We're, we aim to fix it. Like, for example, there's these weird imps inside here. For yeah. some reason. And a giant glowing green crystal. I need to get to that one. Let's do this! Until I get across the entire <laughs> battle map. That's pretty rad move. It's my favorite. Green boom! I really need to... Try and like chain together spells better, just to see if I can get like a good combo going. All right. Is that power stone even doing anything? It casts magic. Huh. So if I get up in there in his grill, it interrupt it. Yeah. There's a treasure chest. Oh. Well, let's eat a green gel then. Oh, he's already at full. You're already at full. You're already at full. You're already, you're all at full. All right. Never mind then. Eh. Is that... Okay, there we go. Okay, well, <laughs> More green gel. More green gel. Alright then, I guess I should be eating those more, but... I haven't really been uh, eating them. That always happens to me in Tales games. Yeah. Since the, you only get, they only give you 15 to carry. Yeah. It's like, I'm not <laughs> using these on regular enemies, because... Why would I? Okay, so I wonder... Let's see if we can try some... Jacoby... Let's go, okay. Sure, we'll drop an ice cream over there, and then... Rib. We'll also do one. Then... Thank oh, you for getting interrupted. Yeah, I did. I guess we're all kind of in the middle of it right now. Yeah. Ooh, that's new. Yep. <laughs> cool. This is a silly animation. It's like, we're gonna... Build this wall around you and then break it! Ha! Ha! Alright. It is the most efficient way to kill a man. Oh. Oh, is it? Yeah. Don't you know anything? Uh, no, I don't. But that, I mean. And that a green gel, remember? Right. You can't use. You can't carry anymore. You can no, carry one of those, though. Oh, and we can also, you know. Do this. Some more. Alright, since we're still murdering everything. Okay, I think there's like water mechanics in this place. Oh boy! My Wait. favorite kind of dungeon mechanic. What I are you, think. What are you doing? Um, I want to check. There's a. This is another one of those places with like a lot of alternate routes. Killer bee! And assassins. Who oh, can killer bees? <laughs> Ooh, four hit combo. There we go. Moving up in the world. Look at those cute little green bees. Hey guys, I'm going to sting you if you don't watch out. I don't know. Is that what a bee sounds like? Sure. We'll go with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. I have a feeling going with my leap gamer instincts that I should go this way first. Leap game. Oh, yeah, see? Okay. Nice work. <laughs> That's okay. Um, then... Oh, 
Wait, that's an item right there. No, that's a bush. <laughs> it's confusing. It is very confusing. It's camouflaged. Camouflage. It's camo index is high. Yep. Oh, these little assassin guys. I want them in mini pig form. Oh, he just did a hurricane kick at me. Like, everything in this game is like adorable. I know. Except for like the few things that are horrifying. <laughs> yeah. Which is kind of you could say that about all anime, really. Like it's either adorable or terrifying. Um. Well, and then you have like the like the cool stuff. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's all of those things at once. Yep. Okay, so obviously I can't cross that because there's water in the way. Even though we demonstrated that I could swim earlier on, but don't worry about that right now. All right. Oh. So I bet that drains Ooh, water. So many green gels. Um. And this. Here we go. Jewel of peace. Peace. Okay. Oh, here you have a regular ass cape still. Let's do something about that. Amethyst. Yay! Big ups. Score B. Uh, not good new. Oh, there's something to do with those. Close the valve. I hate valve puzzles. Fucking deep newcom. I remember that was a thing in like the preview for the one game. There's a part where you have to like turn a valve. He's like, oh, I hate valve puzzles. You know, obviously ripping up. What? Did I just like squid flip and then like the poison just melt out of me? I don't know. But you're poisoned right now. Yeah, I got poisoned again. Fresh tomato. You want cast antidote? I'm gonna make you cast it. <laughs> Or maybe you can do it. No, you can't. Surf. Wait, grip. I'm just gonna block and tell you. Antidote. <laughs> Antidote. Antidote. I like how the poison just kind of just goes like. <laughs> That's the cure animation. Flops down underneath you. All right. So, we obviously can't go there because it's too high up. So now we go this way. Okay. Now we go this way. Okay. Go this way. Oh, look, there's treasure now! Right, my H bottle wore off. Already? Yeah. Are those cheap? I think so. So that's easy to keep stopped on. Yeah. <laughs> Damn you, you jump kicks! They seem like something that might be used a lot in this playthrough. <laughs> yeah. I think I use them a lot, like the first time I played this game. Like, I don't want to use it too much, because then you start hurting your XP, but. Like, the encounter yeah. rate is just so high. Yeah. Nice. Bam! That's a good skill. I love it. Clip, 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 all day long. I feel like running out of, like, TP has not been an issue so far. I've been pretty good at conserving it. Like, the AI does a good good enough job with it. So many green gels. Ooh, a halibird. Boom. Oh. oh, no. That's worse. We found a better weapon already. And I bought the random ones. Oh, okay. So. Oh, you probably have to push that in the middle. Yeah, I know. I yeah. was just exploring first. Yeah, okay. I'm a genius. Don't worry about it. Voice for generation. Yeah, I am. Whoops. Spicy so crouton. You get so many hits. It's great. Yay, middle. No. Hmm, that sucked. That totally should have comboed. It should have. Do come. Hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> just, gonna, just gonna watch there or what? Alright. Oh, Stir. You never do anything. She was helping there. Actually, no. Or not Stir from the crib. Oh. Yeah, she kinda sucks. She kinda sucks. 
I, I mean, we could just turn off those stuff. Okay, there it is. Okay. No treasure, just to make sure. And now I go back, and we have a bridge. Whoops. Right, keep forgetting to put on the H bottle. <laughs> Don't let me forget. I get really caught up in the fight. Ow! You just get so pumped from the action. I do. The total non-stop action. Ah, uh, they're gonna <laughs> die soon. Yay! When, you, are when your channel puts another wrestling show on and starts promoting that. And that show is comprised of 25% of the wrestlers who have left you show because of some <laughs> shit. Yeah. Uh, uh, good for Ring of Honor, I guess. Yeah. Now here's to hoping they don't end up with some shitty management and then and they go under too. Hopefully Hogan and Bischoff don't get involved. Oh god. Hogan in Ring of Honor. <laughs> that would be my personal nightmare. Yeah. That's okay. I, I think like they put a leash on Hogan. He's not allowed to go anywhere else now. <laughs> He's physically incapable of travel now. He's just yeah. broken. Yeah. They broke his old man hips. They keep him in like cryogenic freeze and WWE carts him <laughs> around on their truck. I forgot. Oh yeah, use the H bottle, Tyler. Thanks, Wade. That's very helpful. You're welcome. And timely. <laughs> Look at all these XPs we're gonna get though. That's all true. of those XPs. The greatest treasure there is. Spin to win, man. Fuck yeah. Demacia! There's a guy in League of Legends who his whole thing is he has this like spin attack and he spins around all the time and people always say spin to win <laughs> and he yells Demacia because it's like a country in that game and uh, he does that yeah oh oh mobas Jeez. I wish I could comprehend your popularity but I can't. <laughs> fun again. Some people just like games for mechanics. And like fast action games. But I am one of those people. I still gotta try Heroes of the Storm. Yes, you so do. It sounds like the shorter running time on games might make things better for me. Yeah. Um, and the leveling system is really fun. Not really fun, it's really grindy, but um, it's. Um, I like it because it rewards you for playing a certain character more. Um. So, like, if you find one that you like and you stick with it, um, you get rewarded. Hey, ultimately, ultimately, it's just kind of the core gameplay of the mobas is something I don't enjoy much. Yeah. Like, it's fine, but... I don't know, it just doesn't grab me. Yeah. Like, it's, I... like, it's like playing an RTS without all the base building <laughs> and only controlling one unit. Oh... Well, I don't know, for me it's just like an RPG that you don't want to spend 100 hours at once playing. It's like, I love leveling up, but I also like having free time. <laughs> free time to play video games. Yes. <laughs> yes. Play more games. Well, whoops. Damn it! If it turns out there was another room I could have gone into, I'm gonna be upset. Um, <laughs> Savage Assassin. Oh wait, did we forget about the bottle again? Uh, no, it's on right now. I oh, think. Okay. Unless it just wore off, but. God, I hope it wouldn't have worn off already. That uh, would be sad. Kikajaku! So this also have like the dark bottle that makes it, the counter rate go up. I don't think it has it in this game. I know there are some games that do have that. But some people just like that. If you're in a certain area, you want to attract more things. Yeah, like some of the games have enemies you need to use a dark bottle to attract. Like they run away from you otherwise. Oh, really? Like rare enemies that you can only fight once in a while. Huh. Yeah, like Zillia does that. Okay, which. Let's just get a feel for it. Okay. Uh, wait. Probably go behind that pot first, I guess? There's probably gonna be. That just allows me to cause over here, which leads me to believe that you have to put water back in. But was there a treasure chest to, to the left? No, I opened it already. There's a no, I mean chest. a different one. Like across the bridge that you could make the block. No, we, we came from that bridge. Go back here for this fight. I need 
see something. Yeah. Bam. Get him. I like that spell. Yeah. I like pretty much all the spells. Yeah, it's got cool, cool abilities. Yahoo! Yahoo! Do, do, okay, just give me one sec. Door won't open. Electricity! Yes. Yeah, I had to go back this way anyways. Yeah, th that's why the block was there. Um, because we have to refill this area with water. Don't worry. Okay, I see. I get it. I get it. You should. Bam. Yay, stun lock! Thanks, Feehead. The head. Ah. Uh. Ever feel like earwax just kind of like fall down on your ear? It's like a little bug just kind of landed there, and you're like, ah! I'm like, oh no, wait, it's actually just earwax. Okay. Think it happens. Good to know. That. Okay. Good start. Cool story, bro. I was asking you if that was a question. The thing that happened to you ever? Did you? Oh no. Do, 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 do. Random bats. Right, and put the H bottle back on. Whoops. In. Ow. Yeah, the enemy variety here isn't exactly great either. Yeah, uh, it's about equivalent to most RPGs. You get like half a dozen different enemies, and that's about it. Using a few different set groups. I just. Kinda like that slow-mo final hit. Yeah. Like an XCOM when you end your turn and you get the chase camera that follows you around after. Uh, yeah, I love that. Yeah. Alright, can I still squeeze by him? No, I have to go like I'm this. pretty hyped for XCOM too. I am too. Whatever they end up. I, I doubt that'll be they'll probably give it like a Oh I could have went through Ooh. here, okay. What happening? What? There was a door that I wasn't sure if I could go through or not, but... Uh, or rather, there was a door that I wasn't sure actually existed or not. Okay. Uh, sorry, XCOM 2? Am I saying something about it? Yeah, I forget. You're not Should sure... Should be cool! You're not sure if... Oh, uh, I'm sure they'll call it. They won't call it XCOM 2. It'll probably be XCOM subtitle or something. Oh, so it might like, actually be called XCOM 2. Well, like, I, like they haven't. Like I'm guessing when it comes closer to being out, it'll have like a, a more official name. Oh. That happens a lot. You can't use Tractor B on a flying enemy. To nice. Head. Um. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I was talking about it with the guy from work who told me about it. Or, well, I, I already was aware of it, but I didn't actually watch the trailer. Yeah, so I went and watched the trailer, and it's kind of cool because, you know, it's, you got the whole thing where, like, you're attacking the thing, and but it's like this thing where humans and aliens are, like, living together in prosperity, but it's kind of like a false thing. Ah, fuck. I it forward far enough. Uh, like, to, like, he was like, well, like, you know, it's like, it seems like everything's good, so like, it doesn't make sense that you'd be attacking them. Like, why are you attacking them? And then I watch it, and it's like, well, no, you can kind of tell it's... <laughs> it's like, it's like a clean society, but you have this, like, creepy overlord thing going on. And... I didn't actually see the trailer, I just oh, saw the okay. announcements. I'll have to check that out later. Yeah, um, melee weapons are going to be a thing, because there's a part where you, you see a snake guy. Or, no, maybe it's a sectoid. Um, the snake aliens are there, which is something that the fans of the original game wanted to be in and never did make it. The Thin Men were kind of close, but not exactly. But, yeah, anyways, there's a part where you see, like, an alien stick his head from around a corner, 
and this one dude like pulls out like this big machete from his, behind his back and fucking jumps and like cuts it open. It's awesome. Nice. Yeah. So I'm, I'm okay with there being more melee weapons. Uh, did they say it was gonna be this year? Yeah, uh, it's November. Sweet. Yeah. I'm stoked. And that's definitely one of the big fall games now. Yep, I am 100% on the hype train. I don't know if it's, like, big. I'd, I'd call it, like, tier 2. Like, it's, it's got its following and stuff, but it's not a game that, like, everyone's going to be rushing out to buy kind of thing. Oh, not like Call yeah. of Duty, no, but... No. Um, I can't remember how the last one did, like, commercially. I know it did really well critically. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's probably more fans of the new XCOM game now than there were of, like, the original, which oh, yeah. had a pretty big cult following, but... The new game kind of brought it into the mainstream. Yeah. Well, and I'm sure Fire Axis is working on a new civilization as well. Oh, of yeah. course they would be. Oh, Civ games. I like Civ. I've never really gotten into the series. I'm sure it's fine. Although I've discovered I don't really like overly complex RTSs. I'm just not fast enough. Uh, That's not what Civ is. Oh, isn't it? Civ is not an RTS. It's turn-based. Oh. And it's an, and like you don't have to do combat at all. Uh, you can if you want to go that yeah. route. But... Eating chips. Who does that? You fucker. <laughs> I could lean right up to the mic, but like... Be like... Rawr, 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 rawr. That is what you sound like. <laughs> oh. I'm just jokes. It's okay, I'm offended now. Okay. I'm just gonna be mad the whole rest of the day. Okay. I mean, you, you, you can just see yourself out if you want. The hours left of recording we have to do. I'm just gonna be super salty the whole, the whole way through. <sighs> Wade. Don't be salty. Alright. You know what's nice and salty? Hmm. It's chips. Fuck you! <laughs> Don't eat chips. <laughs> that was the one thing we said we weren't gonna do was eat while we're recording. Oh. I forgot. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Once you pop, you can't stop, Tyler. I popped. Well, me, you should have thought of that beforehand. I didn't make you buy Pringles. Or did you? I did not. I'm just gonna stun lock these guys. Oh, that guy's gonna have a nap now. I bought these Pringles under duress. Wasn't my duress. Yay. Yeah, yeah, Civilization operates kind of more like a board game. Oh, um, does it? Except with, like, lots of complicated stuff going behind the scenes. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like the like the, the thing, the world or whatever is like separated into like a grid, and you move along the grid, and you build you build cities, and send out explorers, and develop technology, and all this stuff. Yeah, well, I mean, so, yeah, I've played it. Like, I'm I'm roughly familiar with the com concept, but oh fuck, I can't move it this far. Um, I just I seem to remember it being real time. Mm. Unless, like, maybe one of the first ones was, but the last several, definitely not. Oh, okay. And that's true, have you got, like, a turn, you can do so many things in a turn, and the next person's turn, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Maybe I was thinking it's more turn-based, like, Heroes of Might Magic is turn-based. Actions kind of work similar to that game. Maybe that's how I remember playing it. I had the original Civ in like a strategy game, like multi-game pack I bought way back from my old computer. 
My old family computer. But. <laughs> on like combat in Civ is basically just like two units moving on in the same space, and there's like a little clash animation and depending on stats and stuff. Mm-hmm. One wins, one loses. Like it's uh, there isn't much player interaction at all in combat. Okay. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, hey, piano. Piano. Carol. Carol. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Guess we all have our issues. Dungus, 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 dungus. Okay. This is the way we're supposed to go, so I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> Alright, now we get new music. Damn it! New music's Age always ball. nice. What's that? New music is always nice. Yeah. I think we had this music earlier, and I could be wrong. I go bleed. And today's gonna. Hey, this year's gonna be a good year for video games. There's yeah. already been some really good ones to come out, and then there's more on the way. Uh, Persona 5 is this year. I'm so excited for that. Warf. Yeah. XCOM, possibly Fallout. Mm. Batman's coming. Witcher came out. Bloodborne came out. Splatoon is apparently quite good. Yeah, it looks like it's goofy, and like the me verse posts, like it. <laughs> yeah. Shown in game. <laughs> I saw weird. one screenshot of like someone walking up to like a me verse post saying, like, my mom left me in Best Buy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll definitely get Splatoon, yeah. I just yeah. might not be right away. Gotcha. And the story mode is apparently pretty solid. Like, yeah, it's, I think it's supposed to be short, like six, seven hours. But right, but but good. Yeah, I think that one's all about the multiplayer. Apparently, it makes it really fun. I don't know. Bam! Get him! Oh oh oh! See, I like that because it hits everything. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Oh, that does less damage than some of the other yeah. things. Still, hitting everyone is good. Sure is. Yatta! Yatta! Ooh, okay. Um, yeah. As always, my policy on new games remains the same. It's, if I see a new game I'll, uh, that I really like, I'll be stoked for it. But most of it, I'm just like, eh, okay, cool. Um, alright, I'll do that last. And then I bring it on the show and play it, and you're like, oh wait, this game's cool. <laughs> yeah. Still, like, even then, I'm not, like, fucking, like, oh my god, I need to have bought this instantly when it came out. It's like... I can acknowledge that people, other people are excited about stuff, I just... I'm not as excited. I only need... The, the, th- the difference is, like, I only need, like, a couple new games a year and I'm fine like I usually only get like half a dozen yeah and I'm the opposite I want to always be playing new stuff yeah. I want to see the breadth of content out there I just want like a couple of good games so I can just play it and get like the most out of a game and just milk it for every, every little piece of code and then sometimes <laughs> I get distracted and then other times I just want to get a game that's a good deal Basketball! Ooh, 101G. There should be a Steam Summer Sale coming soon. Yeah. So, I'm sure I'll get games from that. Yeah, especially with my new computer, I'll probably get some newer games. Yeah, I should be able to play them. Yes. Merp, merp. Well, I know you're down for XCOM. Yes. We're both down for XCOM. Yes. Hopefully it has better multiplayer. Um, I'm not holding my breath, but you never know. Because that multiplayer in the last one was not great. I didn't really even bother. Like, have co-op multiplayer. I'd love like, that. That'd be great. I don't... It's not going to be in this one. I can say almost assuredly, but... 
Um, I do, like, really want that to be a thing, though, where, like, you pick a spot and I pick a spot, and then, like, we both deal with situations, and sometimes we go on the same mission, sometimes we go on our own missions, but we can trade resources and soldiers and shit. I mean, and even awesome. if they just wanted to be lazy and have it so, like, okay, just these characters are controlled by player one, these mm. are characters are controlled by player two, like, they could do yeah. that. Like, throw something in. Yeah. Co-op is usually frequently overlooked. It is, especially in modern games. Yeah. Like couch co with the rise of online, couch co-op got way less important, and mm -hmm. that's a bummer because I'm not mm. really huge in the online play. Yeah. But even like outside of maybe like team shooters and MMOs, you just you don't see like co-op multiplayer, like. It's very rare. It exists, but not as much as I think it could. Okay, don't use that on flying enemies, you dumb butt. I know this right now. Who are you to tell her what to do, man? Master strategist. Ooh, eight hits somehow. Sweet. Have you played any of the Fallouts? Nope. You might like them, I don't know. Oh, probably. Hard to say. I'll and probably like just about anything. You enjoyed Skyrim, right? Yup. Yeah, to an extent. Like, I've... I remember the year Skyrim came out, everyone was bitching about... Or, not bitching, but just clamoring over how great it was, and I, I didn't see eye to eye with that. But, like, it was, I still had fun with it. Like, I, I, I didn't think it was that great, but, um... At the time, it was probably my favorite open-world game. So yeah. Stuff has outdone it since then, but, yeah. like, for example, The Witcher 3, but, um... Yeah. Uh, yeah, at the time, I really loved it. Um, like, yeah, oh no, I, I still, like, I enjoyed it quite a bit. I just The, the reason I asked, I asked is just because yeah. the, the modern fallouts are kind of similar structure. Right, but, uh, right. Although I find different it, setting. Yeah, like a different setting. You got that post nuclear wasteland kind of thing going. Yeah. And there's guns and stuff. But, yeah. Um, uh, I'm not a big fan of gun games that much. Like, I don't mind them every once in a while, but. Um, I was going to say, like, I always say Terraria and Skyrim came out the same year, and I love Terraria way more <laughs> than I love Skyrim. But. Alright, it's just me. My three favorite games that year are probably Skyrim, Saints Row the Third, and The Witcher 2. Oh, there you go. It's already been four years. Huh. It sure has. Sniper! Yeah, the, the yeah. three Witcher games are like four years apart each. Like, that's <laughs> pretty rare for like sequels these days. Yeah. Usually it's like pumped out in a year or two. They have to yeah. take their time. Yeah. I appreciate a company that takes time to make their games. Their next game is going to be some sort of weird cyberpunk thing. Hmm. It looks interesting. There's very little information on it, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, they're taking a break from the Witcher series. Cool. I said they will eventually make more, but... But they're done with that, that one character, at least. Oh, okay. Geralt. Geralt. Or some people call him Gerald. Gerald. <laughs> Oh, Gerald. What a weird name. I know a few different Geralds. Bing. No, don't go back. I didn't tell you to go back. Yeah! At least you got the one guy. Okay, we're going to... Yeah, I seem to recall Skyrim was like my 2011 game of the year at the time. Yeah. Although, looking back, I probably would have picked The Witcher 2, but I didn't play it until later. Yeah. And I think 2012, it was Walking Dead, with XCOM right behind. 2013, I went with The Last of Us. Yeah. I can't remember. I know I made lists, but... The 2014 games might be being added, too. Even oh. though I didn't play it until this year. That game yeah. was fucking awesome. <laughs> that game was pretty small. Um... I think my favorite game I played this year was probably Hyrule Warriors. You mean last year? Or was that last year? Yeah. Oh, okay. I came out in like the fall. Although it wasn't 
Or no, Fire Emblem was 2013, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was, yeah Fire Emblem was fantastic. Um, oh, okay. New, new Fire Emblem this year. That's another game coming out this year. Oh, yeah, that yeah, Fire one Emblem I'm actually might be stoked about. Uh, yeah, I tried, uh, I got the new Pokemon, and I wanted it as a game to play at work, and I just... I like the, can't the do remake one. Yeah, the remake. <laughs> Can't, I can't do Pokemon anymore, I think. I think I'm done. Yeah, I'm a little... I don't know. The formula is fine, but... Yeah. I'm just... Like, I loved it. Like, I don't know. I've always been, like, a huge Pokemon fan. Like, I love the aesthetics. I love, you know, the the depth of strategy. Some people would argue that there's not that much depth, but... Um, but... I'm having a brain fart. I mean, I think part of but, it for me is yeah. I just I, I never found anything about like the the setting or the world or the writing compelling. Oh yeah. And that in an RPG, I kind of need to at least be a little interested in that yeah. stuff. Um, well, see, I think that's some of the newer ones. Like, kind of actually had some interesting story stuff. Like, uh, the whole, I think it was black and white, really, actually, didn't go deep into it, but kind of went into the morality about Pokemon fighting and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I, think, I think one of my things is the dialogue, the way, the way dialogue is written. Mm -hmm. it, feels, it feels a lot like, like TV shows that are written for, like, three-year-olds. Yeah. Like, all the characters are super, like, banal when they talk, and, like, they, they act... They over exaggerate everything they say because they're talking to three year olds. Yeah. It, like, they, they don't talk naturally. And yeah. the dialogue, all the dialogue feels really unnatural and stilted, and that, that really pulls me out when they're trying to tell a story. Yeah. Well, it's that's the like, thing, yeah. They, yeah. they could probably just, like, mature the dialogue just a little bit. Yeah. Like, you can still have it be accessible to everyone, and, you know. And when I was in middle school, I was playing a lot of Super MS RPGs fine, like, yeah. understanding them fine, I didn't need to be talked yeah. down to, like, not to say there weren't issues with some of those translations, but, yeah. but that was more just, like, translating Japanese games was still not a perfected yeah. art. <laughs> I mean, I guess it still isn't, but it, it thinks people gain more skill in that over time, like... It's like even or even like English dubs, like voice acting. God, things are a lot better now than they used to be. Fuck, English dubbing used to be almost universally bad in everything. Yeah, that's why I was always a subs fan. Yeah. A sub See player. now, like most modern shows, like have experienced voice actors working on them, and it's fine. But boy, <laughs> yeah. boy, and I'm gonna be pissed if it turns out like. I should have went to that one door first. It was just like a treasure room or something. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a long dungeon. Yeah. This, this dungeon's gonna be a full episode. Uh, what was I say? Oh, yeah. Oh, hmm. hey! Nice. nice! That's pretty cool. Holy crap! Yeah. I did over a thousand. Um. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, like, so for me, Mr. Mechanics. Yeah, shit, just keep casting that. I, um, just Pokemon's just too grindy. Like, yeah. Like, if you want, like, if you actually care about getting, like, the perfect version of the Pokemon you want, like, there's a lot of effort goes into it. Mm -hmm. And if you're fine with that, fine, but not me. I'm, yeah. I, hey, the older I get, the, the less patience I have for grinding. Yeah. Um, one, one thing oh, I really have to say about The Witcher 3. Yeah. Is it's one of the only RPGs I've ever played where I do side quests just because I want to do them. Oh yeah. And not because of like, oh I'll gain XP or gold or whatever. Like I I do stuff I've way over level just because I wanna see. <laughs> uh... Like it, that game does a real good job with the side quest. Like it, it still has like the old open world thing where it's like, oh you can go randomly explore and find little things and that that stuff isn't it's just kinda there, like it's nothing special, but Mm -hmm. But the proper side quests are well done. Yeah. And it's always like, you're investing, investigating some sort of, like, monster attack, and you, like, have to learn what they are, and yeah. investigate the crime scene, things like that. There be like, there might be, like, an interesting NPC that's only in this quest, but they've got a nice little quirk or something. 
And then sometimes you do a side quest that like seems like it's just this random like monster hunt. And it becomes this big story that takes like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, holy shit, this is important. And I never would have, like, it's possible never to discover this. Yeah. It's, uh, I'm really impressed with that game. That's cool. It and Bloodborne mm. are fighting for the top spot for me this year so far. Yeah. Bloodborne was fantastic. Okay. So there's definitely something I need to get. So I've explored everything I can explore. Now let us proceed. So I was right. We do have to actually come this way, but not yet. But that just means it'll be easier when we actually have to come this way. Um. Oh yeah. The reason I brought up Pokemon was because... I'm excited about Fire Emblem for playing at work because I like having an RPG just that where the progression just happens along with the story. Like, <laughs> there's a little bit of side stuff you can do, but all the like leveling and stuff isn't really that grindy. Yeah, I, I like things the only one I've played in the series, and I really mm -hmm. enjoyed how like they did the whole team up thing where like. Oh, you get mechanical benefits for people fighting together, yeah. and then they also build relationships that lead to cool dialogue scenes, and like those go hand in hand. It's like yeah, a good way to mix like battle, like mechanics in the battle stuff with the character progression. Yeah, um, um, the, the later Persona games do something similar that I really like. Um, we're building character development, also builds combat development. Yeah, so it makes you care about both more. You guys, how you doing? Um. Oh, all right. I've got a whole bunch of area to explore. Although I do think the romances were a little like they're talking like as friends like a few times, and then oh, boom, they're married. <laughs> it's like in Fire Emblem, like they go straight from like best friends to like in love, married. <laughs> it's it's weird. A yeah. lot of them, anyway. Yeah. Like it's it's kind of weird. I I did like the whole eugenics aspect of that game, though. Yeah. Uh... I just want everything to be a dating sim. That's. <laughs> that's it, that's all. Well, maybe you can... Oh, I already had this one. Like, if your game doesn't have waifus, what's the fucking point? Like, maybe you should yeah. play Honey Pop. Maybe we should play Honey Pop. No, maybe you should play Honey Pop. <laughs> no, I mean Pop. on the show. <laughs> no. It works maybe for maybe... Kitty Cat Gaming. Wait. Really... I'm actually... I've Can been I... watching that um year after and Mortimer playthrough of it. Yeah? It's pretty enjoyable. I was already... Their favorite girl is Belly. <laughs> Belly? They, yeah, she's my favorite too, They, they both had a crush on Belly and are trying to score with Belly. Yeah. She is the best. And there's that one redhead who's just, like, awful. She is terrible. The worst. I hate her. She <laughs> has, like, no redeeming qualities. It's not even like she secretly has a sweet side. She's just awful the whole way through. Even after, after you acquire her, as you do in those games. Yeah. Watching it play through, I can see why you had a, a small term addiction to it. And, oh, cause yeah. Because, like, the, the actual match three part of the game was addictive just to watch them play. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. It, 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 is, it is highly addictive. And strategy. That's a, that's Although, a I don't brilliant think... game when you think about it, because it uses that addictive gameplay to fuel this, like porn slot machine. <laughs> yeah. It's like, if I just do a little more match 3, I might see some boobs, yo. Because weird. I went on some sort of weird loop, and it sent me back this way. How are you lost? Not exactly. Uh... This is all area we've seen before. But yeah, um... Have they... I haven't been watching it. Have they been actually using, like, the... The gifts and stuff properly. Eventually, eventually, they figure it out. It took them a little while to figure it out. But... Mm -hmm. There's a certain strategy that I kind of figured out is really effective. For a long time, they didn't realize that, like, the sentiment was, like, useful for something. Oh. It's like they match up the sentiment and, like, the affection doesn't go up at all. This is just useless. Oh, okay. She must hate sentiment. <laughs> so that they would stop yeah. going for it. And then eventually they, like, hovered over something with the mouse. It's like, oh. Yeah. That's usually them. They're not very good yeah. at figuring stuff out, but yeah. Um. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Um. Well, like they tell you that stuff in the tutorial, but then there isn't. They don't really tell you much again. So if you forget, yeah. you go away and say so don't record for a week or two, and then come back and you've forgotten the game. 
doesn't necessarily oh. frame that in a way. Oh. Okay. Hey. Wait a this second. This is extremely convenient. Someone wrote a sequence of numbers in the back of the manual from the used copy Tyler bot. I wonder if this has anything to do with it. What was that? <laughs> oh, actually, if you... Okay. <laughs> like... Oh, it's just... Okay. Yeah. I see. <laughs> what was that? We got, we got a valve. valve. It's going to make Half-Life 3 finally. Yay! Yay. Game confirmed. Half-Life 3 is a MOBA. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that game's ever gonna happen at this point. Nope. I'm like, the last Half Life game ended on a cliffhanger. Yeah. It's like, everyone wants to know how it's gonna end. It's just, nope, fuck you guys. We're making, it's it. Here's we're the making thing about those situations. Charge. Is, say if at that point in time you're kind of planning on doing it, but you wrote this ending where. It's like this giant cliffhanger. You're late. Shit up. Um, okay, how's about we finish this uh, place in this conversation next episode? What? Because we're going pretty high on time here. How can you make a cliffhanger in a conversation about cliffhangers? I know, right? It's so meta. What will we say next time? Hunker's Control. Unsubscribe.